Mankind versus the Infinite. It is a tale as old as storytelling itself. Sometimes the infinite deities that we told in our long lost stories that were etched in stone were of deities that helped us. Sometimes it would have it was of deities who did not. And sometimes we found out that we as men could rise to the challenge and go against these deities in an epic fashion. Stories like this have been told for generations and generations and then generations beyond that. And ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you that this is my first impression of G. Doc Swift and his novel, The Dead God. So let's get into this absolutely fantastic first impression of mine, because I've never read this, looked at this before, but it caught my eye on Twitter. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the video. The Dead God by G. Doc Swift. When an when the ancients revive their long dead deity war begins the dead god leads his mummy army against the ancient uh the ancients ancestral foes can even <clears throat> can even hark the last a war piper stand against the god reborn find out in the dead god this is this 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 is right up my alley for all of the stories and fun times uh, that I've had with movies and storytelling, this sounds like it's something that I would be interested in. So let's click over here to the Amazon link. It is $0 on Kindle Unlimited and $15 on paperback. And ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I personally recommend paperback because you can hold it in your hands. And one day they're going to want to nuke all of this stuff out here but this is by g doc swift all right the degenerate ancient race has lingered long past the destruction of their civilization their high priest finally completes an age-old quest deep within the catacombs of the tomb peaks lies their great secret the dead god the high priest succeeds where all before have failed the dead god rises he gazes upon the wretched descended from his worshiper from his worshipers and knows fury it drives him to rise the mummified army he was to command in the afterlife he leads his undead army on a brutal campaign to avenge his people against their hated enemies can even hark the last warper stand against war piper sorry stand against the god reborn this absolutely echoes the mummy to me which uh one of my favorite movies of all time it probably in my top 10 i don't know depends on the day but i absolutely feel that this is the mummy you know brendan and fraser this is definitely something that echoes just those sentiments whether it's a whether it's a mage or a magician or somebody who is cursed in olden times, but fighting a long lost evil come back to plague the world is a story that mankind has told for generations. And let's take a look inside. It says look inside right here. So we are going to take a look inside the dead god, Doc Swift. And let's do the first little bit here. Dedication for Dr. Razit Kok, <laughs> uh, Coke, Coke, Razit Coke. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Kok, Coke. Uh, it could be one of the, uh, could be one of both. My undergrad professor, my graduate advisor, my faculty colleague, and most importantly, my friend. The day dawned bright and glorious. Scanned clouds, white and fluffy, scudded across the sky in a breeze of unfelt breeze unfelt on the ground. The heavily muscled <clears throat> man sweated and bustled about the grassy expanse, fronting the house he had made his home. The small village no longer hosted primants, primants like him. The human who once lived in this in this place 
had not returned after the surrounding lands were ceded to the Kassan peoples after the war between the races several years before. His name was Hark, and he was not like the rest of his human brethren. He was the last war piper. He strode boldly where other men feared to tread. His mission today was not one of warfare. He had not piled his killing trade in a happily long period of peace, something all but unknown and absent from his adult life, but for over a decade it seemed he had bounced from one war to another with brief intermissions filled with training and preparation. No, his mission today was not about war, it was about peace. And I love that. And I, I, what I love about that is that if you know anything about human history, and this is something that is so absolutely tragic about human history, human history is a bloodbath filled with moments of peace inside of it. And I am so glad that G Dog Swift, the author, went that route because it does show the struggle between man. It shows what men have to do in dark times. Obviously, there's the old saying, saying would you rather be a warrior in a garden or a gardener in a war zone? And I think all of us have only one option there. Sadly, I would say I am neither of which. But I can ascribe to be at least one of those. G-Doc Swift seems to have tapped into something that is quite the interesting story here. Let's go over here to G-Doc Swift and see what he has. The last War Piper, he has quite a few editions of books on his Amazon page. So look for G period, Doc Swift. And let's go back over here to Twitter because I love clicking here because we can see if they post any other websites. But it seems that we just have the Amazon link and the Facebook link. But for those of you who are interested in stories that sound similar to that of The Mummy, which this one absolutely sounds similar to The Mummy to me, which is what makes me very interested in this story. I would absolutely love to check this out. I just have to make sure that I have the time and the funds to do such. But for all of the people out there who have decided it's time to write bigger and better stories or return to the storytelling that all of us once knew, I think that it is an absolutely fantastic thing that all of these writers are coming out. G-Doc Swift is definitely tapped in, making me think of The Mummy, which is one of my favorite stories from when I was a kid. That good sir is exactly what wets my whistle more so than this Bud Light. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag don't want to be sponsored. It's Bud Light. Please, for the love of God, if sponsorship happens, it should be from a fantastic craft brewery and somebody who cares about the craft of brewing, similar to how G-Doc Swift cares about the craft of writing and what he is coming up with. And his that little bit of what I read from the story, I love. It is a soldier who simply wants peace because I think if you talk with all soldiers out there, that's the one thing that they want in life. I've talked with some who are absolutely crazy and they're just like, ah, let's go fight. Like, I, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying I haven't talked with some soldiers who have absolutely seen some things. And they're like, no, let's go fight. But I've talked with more soldiers who were like, man, let's just have times of peace, times of tranquility, and times of family in front of us. And I think that is something that the dead god from G Doc Swift, a War Piper novel is trying to tell the story of a man who that's all he wants to fight for. But alas, who is the man who is going to fight for those people? So ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Go to the Amazon link 
down below and make sure that you check out the dead god from G Doc Swift. And hopefully, this is something that gets you excited for the stories that are coming out from smaller writers. I am so excited to see all of this because I believe that one day we are going to see the rise of new stories that rival that of Star Trek and Star Wars and potentially even the Lord of the Rings. That one might be a little bit of a stretch. But definitely, I think that we're going to see a story in the future that absolutely eviscerates DC and Marvel in the modern day. And they are going to become the new DC and the new Marvel. And I am simply going to say, it was on a drink with crazy first. I was the guy. I saw it. I showed it to you. That's me. I saw it. And hopefully these guys, when they're super big and famous, remember me and maybe come on my podcast or my show or my, my YouTube channel or potentially just mention me in a tweet or possibly send me an email. Either way, thank you all so much for checking out this video. I hope that you liked my first impression on the dead god from G-Doc Swift. And honestly, these are just first impressions. I've never heard of these before. I've never seen them before. I don't know what they are. I just, I, I read a simple synopsis and I go, you know what? That sounds interesting. Let's do a video on that. And let's shine some light on this author. If you guys like what I am doing here, make sure to comment down below and leave your thoughts. Whether you love what I'm doing or hate what I'm doing, I dedicate a special live stream to all of the comments on my channel on Sundays at 11 a.m. Central. And I do this because I feel that if you guys are here, you're watching these videos and you're dedicating time to me, I should absolutely dedicate that time to you by reading your comments, all of them, and making sure that I give you guys my full opinions and thoughts. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you do that. And never forget to be here at 8 p.m. Central for Iron Age Nights every single Friday. Tomorrow night, we are going to have a special guest in which I had to cross the unforsaken barrier. And I had to go where most men don't want to go. In fact, I had to call up Virgil to do it and tell Dante, hey, how do I get there? And Virgil led me through and I was able to pull up from the fiery depths, the literature devil to come on this Iron Age Nights, which is, at fri which is this Friday, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central. So tune in tomorrow night where we talk with Literature Devil about his comic book that he is releasing called, well, oh no. Oh no, I forgot what it's called. Oh no. Well, you know what? Literature Devil is going to be on tomorrow. I am incredibly tired apparently and shouldn't be recording a video. Fatigue gets to all of us, ladies and gentlemen. And if for some reason Literature Devil sees this video, it's fine. It's fine. You'll be on tomorrow. You can bash me tomorrow. But ladies and gentlemen, check out Literature Devil on Iron Age Nights at 8 p.m. Central. And thank you all so much for being here. I have a doggo barking and I need to go see why. So thank you all so much for being here. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.